So in, the, in our sequence of interviews, the first interview you're going to run into is a screening interview. And understand the goal from the employer's point of view on this is to screen you out. They're not like necessarily spending a lot of time with you. Don't be disappointed if it's like a 30-minute interview. It could be a 20-minute interview. It could even be shorter than that. The whole idea is they're taking their pool of resumes and CVs and narrow those down. And then they're going to screen people from there. Usually it's a human resource person who's doing, doing basic questions and they're going to ask the same questions of every candidate. They do that to be fair and also maybe to comply with legislation or regulation as well too. So once again, their whole idea is to screen you out. So don't let them screen you out. It's very short. Be ready to uh, communicate some basic facts. They might just ask you to confirm your phone number and your and your address and all that. That's uh, that. And they're going to ask you some questions that might be real basic to the organization, maybe something around if it's an organization that's very team oriented, they'll ask you some team oriented questions just to get a couple of those down and see you know how you are. So if it's a team organization, they say, how do you like working with teams? And you say, I hate working with teams. I just want to work by myself. Well, they're going to probably screen you out, which is okay. You might not have been a great fit for that organization anyways. But once again, that's their idea is to screen you out. Uh, another thing you might find in screening interviews too, is even though it's the first step in the sequence, first step in the process, they start talking about sex salary right away or compensation. And you don't want to talk about compensation right away. You want to show why they should hire you and help build up that value. And you want to go through the whole process before that. You don't want to start talking about compensation early. So why do they want to talk about compensation early? Once again, screening interview. They want to screen you out. If you're too high, they're like, oh, we can't afford this person, so we'll screen that person out. Or maybe you're too low and they might think, oh, maybe this isn't a well-qualified person. So in the section on compensation, we're going to go into this in great detail, how to handle this in particular. But for now, just know in a screening interview, you don't want to talk about compensation if you can. And then we'll look forward to the lessons coming up. When we talk about this different things of how to ask for compensation, we'll look in more detail in the screening phase as well. The best practice also is after the interview is to really take a lot of notes on the questions that were asked of you. Because in future interviews, it's going to give you an indication of what might be very important in the organization. These are the big broad things around maybe it's team or leadership or working with clients or customers, whatever it might be. Really note those because in future interviews, when you start talking to hiring managers and maybe the, your potential boss, they're going to come around to these questions and really probe in greater detail around that. So take notes after the screening interview and really understand that it's a screening Interview, they're trying to screen you out and don't be disappointed or worried if it's like only 15 minutes. That doesn't mean they don't like you. It just means they're going to interview a bunch of candidates.